Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a three-dimensional forest scene in V-Ray for Rhino. This video will be following on from the previous video tutorial looking at how to import and work with three-dimensional detailed model trees in V-Ray. And I'm going to be using the same model and I've added in two extra tree models into our scene here. Now we're going to be working again with V-Ray proxies and I've already converted these three dimensional models into V-Ray proxies to use within this scene. The reason for this is I'm going to be copying this tree hundreds of times to create my forest scene. So it's important to make sure these are all converted to V-Ray proxies before I start the copying process in order to keep the size of my file down. Now I'm going to be using the Rhino Grow plugin to help with the scattering process of these trees. This can be found on the website Food for Rhino and I'm just going to download a version of this and install it into my file. Once you've downloaded Rhino Grow, to install it all you need to do is go to File, Properties, down to Plugins, click Install, locate your Rhino Grow plugin there, click Open and once that's done hit OK and then if you want to load up the Rhino Grow toolbar that looks something like this in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can go to Tools, Toolbar Layout and under the tab that says Rhino Grow here, you can tick that on and that will load up your toolbar. Now once that's made, I'm going to just make a large surface which will become my forest floor here. I'm then going to just apply a basic material to this floor. I've just made a kind of generic grass material here, so I'm just going to apply that to my floor and I'm just going to roughly texture map it out just at a kind of rough size there. It doesn't matter too much what that is for this. Now once that's applied we're then going to scatter our trees across this floor using the Rhino Grow Scatter plugin. So I'm going to click Scatter here and it will open up the Scatter menu and essentially you can just follow the steps via this menu. So we're going to set the base geometry. So I click set base geometry, click on my surface and hit enter to set that. To set the scatter geometry will be the trees that I'm scattering and I'm going to do this one at a time just by hitting select scatter geometry, click on the tree I want to scatter and then hit enter to select that tree. And you'll know it's selected because it will receive a colored box around that particular object you'll be scattering. Now we can set the number of trees and I'm going to have 300 of this type of tree. We can set the rotational variation which will give it a random rotation based upon each of these axes. Now I'm just doing it on the XY axis which will mean it will kind of spin randomly in that axis but it won't lean to either side which are these other two axes here. I just want to keep it in that axis to keep the tree standing upright but just randomly rotating along the XY axis there. For the scale variation I'm going to select uniform scaling here so it makes sure it scales the tree uniformly we don't get a squished tree and I'm just going to put it up to around 50% to give it some variation in the scale of the tree across this landscape. With that set we're then going to generate a matrices and what this would do is it would generate a preview of how this tree is going to be scattered across the landscape and we can see it there. And once you're happy with that preview I'm then just going to hit transform geometry to essentially scatter that tree across the geometry giving it a random rotation, a random scale and copying it 300 times across the geometry like so. Once that's done we can then repeat the same process with each of these objects clicking on set scatter geometry, clicking the new tree hitting enter and then regenerating the matrices. So I'm going to go ahead and scatter the rest of these trees across the landscape. Now these have all been scattered we can close our Rhino Grow editor like so and we can pick a viewport for which we're going to render out the scene of our trees. So I'm just going to pick one from amongst the trees around here. Once you've got your chosen perspective view we're then going to render this out just using the V-Ray Interactive and as you can see we'll wait for this to load up here. We've now got our forest scene nicely loading up. Now at the moment there's a lot going on obviously we've got over a, a thousand 3D trees in this scene 
we're getting some nice dappled light on the floor and the shadow from the trees and as we go further back you can see the trees descending into the distance but because there's so many of them it's very difficult to get a sense of depth of this forest so something we can add to really highlight that depth is an environmental fog to give us that idea that as we go further back there's a haze and a fog that is eclipsed by these trees now to add this we're just going to use the V-Ray Asset Editor, go into the Settings option, click on this right hand tab and go to Volumetric Environment. We're going to tick on the Aerial Perspective here and we're going to change this to Environmental Fog. And as you can see it will already apply that fog to your scene. Now based upon your units we're then just going to play around with this distance keeping the fog colour white. And I'm going to set it to around 30,000 millimetres in this sense which will be 30 meters if we're in meters dimensions and potentially maybe a bit more maybe 40 there until you've got a nice balance of your fog which will kind of be stronger in the background than in your foreground and what this would do is it will just haze the background of your scene nicely so the trees start to disappear into the fog the further back we get and the more this is render out, rendered out the kind of higher quality it will be and you can essentially just adjust this value until you get the sort of right look that you're looking for but what this fog allows you to do is really get a sense of the depth of this forest in your scene and once we've added this in we could also throw in some grass materials some low ferns and other assets into this environment using the same scattering strategy and you can create images or animations such as this where we could fly through the environment giving a very quick walkthrough through a forest scene such as this so thank you for watching the tutorial this was a very quick run through on how to create a forest scene in v-ray for rhino if you enjoyed this video and want to watch any other videos on texturing material creation or rendering in v-ray for rhino please check out the videos on the channel